Good morning. We are here on the Manolo Buffalo Dairy Farm. And this is the only organic buffalo dairy farm here in Italy. We make here every day about 300 kilos of organic mozzarella. Okay. And the people that you can see here, they start at 4 o'clock in the morning to make cheese and they work the cheese just 11.30. Then you're here for sell all the cheese that you make every day, okay? We don't have never the mozzarella from the day before, it's always fresh. And now we go to see in which form we make uh, the mozzarella cheese. We use just raw milk, we don't pasteurize the milk because it's an organic buffalo dairy farm. The milk is heated up to 36 degrees and then we put the rennet, the enzyme into the milk. The milk they calculate and after one hour we have to cook the that that you see here on this still table and stay here for about two hours because they must drain and all the water must go outside. Okay, we cut the curd in small pieces and then we give the boiling water inside that we have an elastic dough. Uh, buffalo milk is richer than cow milk. We have double of fat, double of lactose and double of vitamins. And if you put the small pieces in the boiling water, the fat contains the milk is that as you can see here, and then we have an elastic dough that you can start and to give them the size of the cheese. This is the braid. You can see that we make now first a mozzarella snake, and then we braid it that. It's a half a kilo of cheese. The dough must be very stretchy. And very quick, we have them here the braid. the dough, the dough was about 50, 60 degrees, so it was very hot. Mm -hmm. And to give them the size, they go in the cold water, okay? Oh. It's the shock from uh -huh. the hot to the cold water, it and you have then this the skin, yeah, and then inside they were softer. Oh, mm. no wonder. I was sort of wondering yeah, what the... Exactly. Uh, it's more creamy it's inside, huh? Yeah. Mm -hmm. And it's Moist. not uh, uh, salt water or anything, it's just regular water salt? in the process? Salt? Okay. Um, the way, when you, when you buy the cheese, uh -huh. the way is um, water, milk and salt. But salt is not in the cheese, okay? I see. Well, it comes out. Uh, yeah. It's just in the liquid, yeah. huh? yeah. not in the, in the dough. Mm. Hmm? Oh, yeah. Because oh. uh, we, the salt, uh, they may the preserve and also than the cheese, huh? See. So if you buy the cheese, four days kitchen temperature is okay, yeah. and it doesn't go in the fridge, okay? Because it's an organic mozzarella, we don't have any preservatives inside. So it doesn't oh. have to be refrigerated? No, for four days. Mm. Oh, for four days. Yeah. Okay. Oh, so you should eat it within the four-day period. Yeah. But, um, yeah. Exactly. Well, maybe we, that's we not finished so four to four days. It makes yeah. four days. Yeah. It makes it one day. <laughs> yeah. And I have uh, seem to have uh, different tags. I mean, some okay. The uh, stable was five thousand square meters, and we have here two hundred buffalo. Uh -huh. The 200 buffaloes that we have here, yes. there was the buffaloes that, that, that they have now milk, the buffaloes uh -huh. that they have a baby, okay? Because they must have a calf oh, for production milk. Yes. No babies, no milk. Right. Okay. And they start to have the first, uh, the first calf at three years. Yes. They make one calf every year and they're productive just 15 years. Then after 15, they go down to the butcher, okay? They go where? Sorry? To the butcher, to we slaughter oh, the them. Yeah. I see. And when, when she has them a calf, she gives them for 10 months milk. There was the time that she stay here inside of the stable and she don't go outside. After the 10 months, she has them two months that she don't have milk. Yeah. And this then the holiday time and stay them out in the pasture. And came back when she not the time pregnant is. The station time nine months. I see. That makes sense. So the yeah. pregnancy is 10 months. So oh, not so bad, not so yeah. different from no. humans. And, uh, and this is sort of quite uh, interesting, this yellow uh, thing for cleaning. The, the yellow uh, is for massage. Okay, oh, the buffalo that you see here, uh -huh. uh, they have all a blue chip on the neck. That is because the milk and the buffalo is with uh, milk machines. We have four milk machines. The milk machines that came from Sweden, it's Swedish, Alfa de Laval. Uh -huh. And this machine is fantastic because the animal does say themselves if she's ready to give milk because she feels that it's too heavy. Yeah. And then she goes down really voluntarily inside the milk machine. And here you can see we have a waiting room. 
Yes. The buffalo stay here in line and they wait. When she feel okay, I'm ready, I have too much milk, yeah. she got and lead themselves inside of the milk machine. Okay, but if to get in this pen here, they actually are... Uh, um, she came here in, here in this... Oh, they voluntarily go yeah, through there Yeah, exactly, well. in this small gate. Aha, uh -huh. okay. And then the machine read on okay. the blue chip and know then who there is, how many liters of milk that she gave, make the milk test, and then return also the position for the teeth. Hmm? Because the machine has this electric arm, yeah. so that you see over there, uh -huh. that if a sensor with an infrared, go down onto the buffalo, clean first on the teeth and then touch them. All themselves twice a day, in the morning and afternoon. Oh, oh really? Twice one, a day? Yeah. Yeah. And one milk in processing will take about five, six minutes. Yeah. That depends also how many liters of milk that you have. Sure, yeah. When she has then finished to give milk, the buffaloes come then over there in the feeding area. Uh -huh. hmm? We grew the organic silage all here because it's an organic um, farm, okay? Uh, yeah. You have 200 hectares of land that used to make corn, cereal, grass, alpha, alpha and peas. No limits, they can eat there whatever they want. Uh -huh. And then you have a massage area, is that what yeah. you see over there? Mm -hmm. Happy buffaloes make good milk. <laughs> that is great actually. And great. in the morning from yeah. 7 to 9 o'clock we get classic music, Mozart. Huh? Oh, really? Mozart and Goethe's mozzarella and the owner is happy, but it's really true that Mozart are like the animals yeah. and you have to need the best cheese, okay? Well, that's fantastic. And, uh, and then uh, you said this thing, uh, uh, this, does the machine know when to stop or? Sure, okay. because I have a sensor. Mm -hmm. I see, yeah. We don't use any medicines, yeah. no vaccination, no artificial really? insemination because yeah. it's an organic farm. Yeah. In the stable, we have 200 females and eight lucky bulls that have a hard job. They are uh -huh. here, that's being natural. They are here with the females. And the uh, younger male buffaloes then go to the butcher. They go at two months, uh, yes, because the baby calf that they burn here, we have to 50% that they are females yeah. and the other 50% they are males. Yeah. Females stay here because they production then in the future milk. Yeah. And the male calves, they go then two months with the butcher. Yeah. And we, that is because we have them here also the leather store because we make them bags that we yeah. build. Okay, it's all buffalo leather. So the uh, young buffalo, the meat must be much better than the uh, sure. old female sure, buffalo. Sure, and, sure. Uh, but both get sold then. Mm -hmm. But maybe the male buffalo to make uh, burgers or something, the ground meat. And, uh, yeah, it's buffalo filet. Okay. Really? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, this is the Indian water buffalo type that, that you can see here. Also, they're very friendly. If you want, you can then also pet the buffalo because they make really nice. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Just families, we sell that too, just for local people, just families, yes. No stores, no hotels, no restaurants, really just because 300 kilos of mozzarella, there was about 600 pounds, it's not a big quantity. It's not a big amount. Mm -hmm. yeah. So we sell it really just for local people, just families. And then uh, do you ever sell out of mozzarella? Sure, every day. Every, oh, every Most, day. We oh, don't have never the mozzarella from the day before, huh? Oh. It's well, always fresh yeah. because the people, they make a reservation two days before and we oh. know how many kilos of mozzarella that we must have every day. Oh, I see. So actually that you is, can't turn up. Exactly. Uh, yeah. yeah. That's uh, good, good planning, actually. <laughs> so. This is just came from the young one, from the baby male calf for two months, huh? Is that that you? Two months old? Yeah. Here. This is the skin. The work processing from the leather, we don't make that here, we make that in the Toscany in Santa Croce. Because this is the only city that they don't use any chemicals. So we buy the leather from the Toscany. Half time here, two people that they worked in all this leather, make them all these objects. This is really all hand work. Yeah. yeah, so soft. So, mm -hmm. Yeah. And you will make also soap. We make soap with uh, buffalo yogurt, honey, and lemon. And so we use real oil. You can smell. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, that's wonderful. Mm. That's very fresh. Mm. Oh, that's. Fantastic. So, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, it could be good to just put with clothes, you know, to keep it. Yeah. Up. 
In the past, there was the subtle for the donkey, but now we put the magazines outside. Magazines and newspaper. Oh, yeah. yeah. For the donkey, what was it? Yeah, the saddle. Oh, the yeah. saddle. Oh. So I guess you can sit on that with your feet, though. Mm -hmm. Oh, with your feet. Yeah. You have to have short legs. You can put there, yes. It's big. Well, that's good. Well, that was quite an informative uh, visit, wasn't it? It was, it was. I really enjoyed the new low. Um, yeah. I think the most. I just am very impressed with how the animals are responsive and how they're aware of you and you know they're so well taken care of and and um, yeah I've never yeah. seen uh, at any place a massage a massage parlor for animals actually. that's With funny that, 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 uh, <laughs> yeah you know, actually I wanted to get a scratch you know <laughs> <laughs> yeah but also the fact that they play classical music in the mornings so those, yeah uh, it's a pretty good spa situation. Yeah. You know, and all the organic food, who wouldn't like it? You yeah, know, the, that's right. Yeah. Apparently there's different types of uh, grain and, uh, um, you know, it's not just one sort of food. Mm -hmm. They have a variety of uh, things that they eat. So I guess we've never seen uh, such happy animals. I yeah, they are very happy. Um, yeah. I think the whole idea of care for them is to make them feel supported and then they produce as much milk as they can and then and have a pretty long life when you think about you know ranch animals you know that's right yeah. so i think and then and to see how they develop um the leather from from the hides in the future and how they um, maintain the natural aspect of the hide, I think is really impressive. You know, it's not dyed, it's not, you know, well, that's colorized. Well, right. uh, so you know. soft too, and I guess that's mm -hmm. because it's a young uh, buffalo. Yeah. That's right. But apparently there's uh, like 12 um, males that... Uh, uh, that are the, here, yeah. Yeah, that's right. Uh -huh, that, yeah. Uh, mate with the buffalo. And yeah. yeah, and I guess the younger males only make it to about two months old. I mean, the ones that they don't select. That's and right. yeah, yeah, so that was yeah. not so good for them. <laughs>